and welcome to Cracking the Cryptic at a propitious moment this afternoon, I hope. It sounds like the drilling behind me has stopped. It sounds like the bin men outside have moved down the road. It sounds like the lady who stopped outside my window with two dogs talking to another dog owner and not caring about how much the dogs barked may have moved on and I may get a chance to record a video. Um, now, first of all, though, I have to sincerely apologize to Albin S, whose debut on the channel would have been yesterday. The reason there was no Sudoku video in my name yesterday was because I recorded a video of this incredible puzzle, Cruella and the 101 Dalmatians. I put it up on the channel and then I found out that the second half of the video had all got frozen. All the video feeds um, of myself and the puzzle got totally stuck. There were sort of random things appearing all over the screen. I think what happened was a, um, a tab in the browser that I had left up from earlier, which is a point I will come on to in a moment, um, started running things and eating up memory, which was incredibly annoying. So I will certainly take the blame for that. I apologize to Alvin. We have, I'll publish his puzzle, uh, a link to solve this puzzle below this video. So you can try it there. Also, it's definitely already in the community page in case I forget that. So go to the community tab if you click on Cracking the Cryptic below and you will find a link to solve Cruella and the 101 Dalmatians with the rules on the screen. It really is a tough puzzle. Now, um, the, the thing, the page that might have caused me some trouble was a page from the independent website where I had been solving Dave Gorman's latest uh, cryptic crossword in The Independent. So I kind of did a speed run at that. We've posted that on the channel already today. So I've at least caught up with my sort of one a day video attempts. Um, although I'm so sorry that there wasn't a Sudoku video from me today. Now, if you're going to try this puzzle, Cruella and the 101 Dalmatians, give yourself some time. It's difficult. But where will you get that time? I don't know, because if you've looked at Simon's video from earlier today, I don't think that was an easy puzzle. And I believe that this is not an easy puzzle either. So tons of difficulty ramping up on this Friday. Um, but I'm going to give this a go anyway. This has been so highly recommended uh, by everybody on Discord to us. Several people have written in saying we have to give this a try. Um, Zeta Math has been a fantastic constructor in every puzzle we've tried by him before so no surprises there and I'm really looking forward to this daringly simple but intriguing rule set. So what's going on? Well normal Sudoku rules apply, grid markings and you can see it looks like a whole batch, a whole forest of thermos but they are either arrows or thermos. Thermos ascend from the bulb and arrows sum to the number in the bulb. So if, I don't know, let's choose one. If this was a thermo, then the numbers would ascend from here. So this would be larger than that. This would be larger than that. This would be larger than that. That's how a thermo works. But although they look like thermos, they could be arrows, which would normally have a circle on the end. And in that case, these three digits will add up to that digit. So that's what we've got going on. We have to work out which each of these um, markings is. Absolutely fascinating rule set. Grid virtually covered in these, but I know this isn't going to be easy. Do feel free to give it a go. And do that before we launch, I think it's at 6 p.m. our time tomorrow. So that would be um, 5 p.m. No, I don't know. Yeah, that's 5 p.m. European time, is it? I am so, so utterly useless. No, it's 7 p.m. European time or 1 p.m. Uh, New York time. You can work out the, your own time zone from there. That is when tomorrow we are going to launch uh, Matthias Martinka's Sudoku and Puzzle Hut with a piece of merchandise as the prize for whoever gets through it first and sends us the right answer to... Um, crackingthecryptic at gmail.com, which is where you can reach us. And we've had some very kind comments about yesterday's podcast as well. Thank you so much to everybody who's commented on the video and who has sent us messages um, almost unanimously pleased with it. And I mean, I think 
We are going to have to do more of them as a result of that. And the good news is that that podcast will be up soon on the various podcast sources that you have. So uh, Peter's going to achieve that for us, and we're very pleased about that. We are still absolutely puzzled that anybody wants to listen to us chatting together, but we are prepared to do more of that. No problem. So anyway, let's have a go at this puzzle. Ambiguity by Zeta Math. Let's get cracking. And how? Let's just stare at this plethora of thermos for a moment. Some of them are five cells long, but they all go in different boxes. Wow. Any one of these could be either. Like Something like this looks like it must be a thermo, but actually that could be a repeated digit, or one, two, or three, and then it could all add up to seven, eight, or nine. Ah, oh, here we go. Here we go. This central box, every cell has got some grey in it. And this one is... Vi yeah, this one we know. Right, I'm colouring thermos blue. How do I know this is a thermo? There are four cells in the same, cave, the same box. That has to add up to ten at least, and that couldn't fit in a one-digit thermo. So, let's good lift this thermo with some candidate numbers. That's four degrees of freedom. Now what does this mean? Ah, this cell, whatever's in this cell... No, oh yes, of course, the whole point is it can't be on those cells because they're on the same thermo. So you can never repeat a number along a thermo, although you can on an arrow, but we know that's a thermo now. And therefore, that number also can't be in those cells by Sudoku. Whatever that number is, is down here. Now, that doesn't mean this has to be an arrow, although I suspect it is. Or does it? Yeah, if this was a thermo... I don't know. Does it? Oh, where does this have to go? Right, this, whatever's in this cell, can't go in those or those either because they're on the same thermo. Well, yes, actually, the, the bulb cell in an arrow, although cells can repeat on an arrow, as we saw, they can't use the bulb. What does that mean? This cell is one of these digits up here. That's what it means. Suppose it could still be a thermo. Where would one go? Oh, God, this is doing my head in. I don't understand this. Is th there don't seem to be any of these other lines with four four thermopotential cells in a single box. Um, oh, what about that and that together? Ah, here's an insight. Nine. Where does nine appear on a line? Okay, it, it can appear at the end of a thermo, say. Any any end can be a thermo, can be a nine. Any bulb if it's an arrow, yeah, if it's a thermo, nine's at the end. If it's a, an arrow, we don't have any really short arrows, so nine must be on the bulb. So, nine can never be on a number in the middle of How can I use that? These can't be nine. And these can't be nine. So the nine in this row is here. It is. Yes, that's a nine. And that is an arrow. Because that is a nine. That's definitely right. All of these can't be nine by under either arrow or thermo rules. That is right. Okay. That is something. I don't know what it is, but it's something. So doesn't do anything here. All of those could still be nine under the basic presumption. 
oh, these can't be. So 9 is in one of those cells. Those can't be, that can't be, that can't be. That's not all that helpful. I thought this was going to bust the whole thing wide open. I didn't really, but... What about this one? There's something about how these this arrow goes up there and this arrow goes down there. Why can't I use this better? Can this be a thermo, which I feel is unlikely? Then one would have to be in one of these cells. Oh, and one, oh my God, that's brilliant. That's bizarre. I hadn't seen this coming. Right, if one was in one of those cells, I'll leave that highlighted, then it can't be in these two bulbs I'm looking at. And therefore... Oh my goodness, this is craziness. Oh, that's magnificent. Right, what, what I'm seeing is that if this is a thermo, that's the idea that I'm trying to scotch here. If that was a thermo, then one would have to be in one of these two. Um, it would therefore stop one being in these bulbs. Then we'd ask the question, where is two in this central box? And to be on a thermo would be impossible because these would have to be at least two. And the thermo numbers would all have to be higher. So two would also have to be in these two cells. And then you go on. Where would three be? And again, these would now have to be higher than one and two, and now three can't be on a thermo, and that's where it stops, because there's nowhere for three to go. That's magnificent. If that's intended, that is insanely clever. I love that. So anyway, that all proves, and do follow that through. That is just fun. I mean, rewind that bit if you didn't get it, but that means this is a, an arrow, which probably doesn't help me solve the puzzle, but or, you know, not quickly, but it's definitely true. And that is a beautiful bit of logic. Right. So what does that mean for us? This is six, seven, eight or nine. Oh, no. Hang on. Where is nine in this box now? It's not there. And it's certainly not on this arrow. So it's in one of these two cells. And therefore, this is not nine. This is six, seven or eight. And there is a one in those three cells on the arrow adding up to six, seven, or eight. It's either one, two, three, one, two, four, one, three, four, or one, two, five. Ah. Yes, lovely. If those, if this was also an arrow um, marking, we would have six cells here. Because they're all different, because they're in the same row, they have to add up to at least 21. But you cannot make these two circles add up to 21 because even though that could be 8 and this could be 9 that's 17 so this is a thermo as well oh this is lovely it's so many different strands of logic coming together absolutely genius already and i mean i bet we've got lots to come um right so nine's on one of those two cells and nine is there where is nine in row six it's got to be on one of these three we know it can't be those two that would have been the simpler way of telling that this was a thermo without doing this 21 bobbins um so that's a nine there uh right let's have a look at other nines nine now can't be there it can't be on either of those because they're not on the ends of their line so nine in one of those Oh, look. Oh, look. Look at this column. That's not a nine because that's an arrow now. I should have looked at this column earlier, but now, now that I found that was an arrow, I can place nine in column six. It's there. I've got nine in one of those two. Those can't be nine. That can't be nine. That's not nine. It's on an arrow. So one of those four is nine. Um... Oh, nine and nine are ruled out of all of those and it can't be there or there. So nine is in one of those two cells. Which one? Oh, it'd be lovely to know which. And over here, nine can't be in any of those. 
So we've got a little group of two by oh, what happened there? Group of two by two where nine could be. So that's all the positions for nine marked in the grid. Now this total, what do we know if uh, nothing much about that? It's not that helpful, annoyingly. What about this? Ah, it can't have a one on it. Is that going to stop it being an arrow? No, it's not, definitely. Because it could be a nine with actually two, three, four, or two, five, two, or something. There's probably another possibility as well. Um, Now, what can we do? One of these is a nine. If I could prove these two were different. Sorry, I'm trying to highlight that thermo stroke arrow and that one. If I could prove that they had a different nature then I think I could prove that this was the arrow and this was the thermo. But I don't know that that is obvious. It looks likely that they're different for some reason. Just because there's, otherwise there's a bunch of very high numbers or very low numbers on all of those cells. I don't know. I can't, I can't see a way to proving that. How about this one? This one's quite interesting, especially as it can't end or begin in nine now. So if it's an arrow, this is eight or seven. If it's a thermo, this is one, two, three or four, because it can't go up to nine anymore. Oh, where I don't know, is that is this a thermo or is it an arrow? Is there a way of telling if it was an arrow, these five cells plus that one? would have to add up to the total of those. And they would have to be at least 15. That would have to be at least 2. Oh my goodness, these would have to be a 9 and an 8, with a 2 there, 1, 3, 4 there, and 5, 2 there, and it does work. Oh, it doesn't work for a brilliant reason. Oh my god, that's brilliant. Right. Okay, what I'm saying is, if this is an arrow, and I'm going to prove it's not, how do you make it up? Well, these five cells and this one are the cells on these two arrows now, these two hypothetical arrows. These five have to add up to at least 15, because they have to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. They all have to be different. This one has to be added in, and it can't be a 1, because we've got that pencil mark. So it would have to be at least a 2. That's 17 which is the total for these two cells. Now you can just do that with eight here and nine here, but then you get one, two, three, four, five here. That's part of the, the, the journey for that. And this would have to be six, seven, or eight. And I do not believe it that it can be. The only way that this could be six on a thermo would be if you could run it up to nine here, which you can't. The only way this could be six on an arrow well, it, it can't because 6, 2, 1 is the minimum, plus 1 makes 10. That cannot be as high as 6. It is basically 1, 2, 3, 4, or 5. Can't be 9 either, no. So, well, for millions of reasons, actually it can't be 1 because of where we've got 1 pencil marked. But anyway, that means that these can't all be arrow cells, so this is a thermo. These deductions are hard. I may be... I th I'd say with this puzzle, there's a lot of ways of getting around this grid, but this is how I'm doing it, and it, it ain't easy. So that's become a 9, 
because that's where nine has to be in the central box. I can hear some drilling start, although it's not as loud as it was before. Anyway, those can't be nine. This is now nine, and that means this is an arrow. Oh, now we've got progress, because look, that arrow means this isn't a nine. The nine that we just put in at the top means that's not a nine. We can fill in nine here and here. Come on, keep going. Oh, it takes nines out of those cells. Uh, yes, we can take out nine from there, put in a nine here, put in a nine here. We've done all the nines and suddenly almost feel like I'm cooking with gas at this point. That's an arrow. Oh, didn't expect to get so many arrows marked. They're much easier to work with. Right, a nine on this arrow means this is... Well, this is the repeating digit. It's either one, two or three. The repeating digit's in one of those two cells, but here we have to include a 1 um, because they have to add up to, at most, 8. So that's interesting, sort of, is it? Well, OK. Ah, let's have a look at 8s in the central box. 8s. Where are you going to put an 8 there? This is a thermo now, so it can't have an 8 in its in those cells. So eight's got to be here. Seven? Seven can't be there either. In fact, six can't be on those anymore because eight's the maximum. Seven's going here. Now I know that this can't be a seven because otherwise we'd be going eight, nine. Now unfortunately that doesn't mean I can mark this as a six because six could also be here going seven, eight. So actually six is in one of those two cells. Now eight, yes. If eight can't be in those cells and it can't be there and there on arrows that only total nine, eight has to be here. Oh my goodness, the fact that I've got this, look, there's two arrows, I had two, two markings I haven't marked. That one's a thermo because it ends in nine. This one is an arrow because it begins with nine. Ah, what do these add up to? Those six cells have to add up to 18. The top five of them have to be different, so they're at least 15. That maybe doesn't carry us any further than that. And we have to remember numbers can repeat on this one. Well, those two can be the same. Oh, I got all excited for a moment there. Um, Maybe eights are good. Right, can that be an eight? No, it's on an arrow. That can't be an eight, given where it is on a thermo or arrow. So that is where eight is in column five. These can't be eight. Those can't be eight. That can't be an eight either, given where nine is. So eight is in one of those two cells, but it could be in the circle of an arrow there. I think it could. Yeah, it could. And it could certainly be on the end of a thermo. I actually think that's rather likely. Is there some way of making this definitely a thermo now? Ooh, nearly. If it's an arrow... Ooh, very nearly. If it's an arrow, this has to be 8 or 7. And then these would either have to be 1, 2, 3, which is impossible given that cell or one, two, four, with a one there. And that's not possible because you'd need a one in both of those cells and that would stop this group of cells up the top having an arrow. So that is not an arrow, seven or eight, no, this is a thermo. I thought those two would be different down the long ones in rows seven and eight. OK, I'm going to pencil mark this one because it can't end in a 9. Oh, I thought something else would be constrained on that, but it's not. I still haven't decided where the 8 goes, unfortunately, here. Um, oh, where does 8 go in this box? Ah, 8 cannot be there, even if that's a thermo, because that can't be a 9. It certainly can't be on it if it's an arrow. It can't be anywhere else on it if it's a thermo. It can't be there. 
It can't be there because that can't be 9, so 8 is in one of those two cells, and that does decide that this one isn't an 8, and that one is in box 9. That's where the 8 is. And yet again, putting in a high number at the end of a thermo does nothing for the rest of the puzzle. Just like putting in a low number on the bulb. Never mind. Um, it is progress now. One of those is 8. Yeah, where does 7 go? Because I think it's got the same deal. 7 is ruled out of those two. I spent a long time explaining why that couldn't be 8 without noticing the, the 8 there. Anyway, 7 is not in one of those two. And it also can't be here or here. Again, 7 not there because that can't be 8, for instance. So 7's in one of those three, and it can be there with 8 there. Also, if 7's there, 8's there. But if 7's here, 8's here. Uh. Ah, 8 in one of those, 8 there. One of these is an 8. This is not an arrow. It is a thermo, and therefore the 8 goes on the end. 9's already gone. So, this, this one's really interesting. I thought it would be all over this. Um, this I'm gonna, sorry, I'm going to actually go back to the old cursor colour. I thought it would all be all over this marking earlier, but maybe we can get to it now. It can't start with a 1, because there's a 1 in one of those cells. So if it's a thermo, it's 2 or, th two or 3, 3 or 4, 4 or 5, 5 or 6, 6 or 7. If it's an arrow, it's definitely 7 with a 1, 2, 3, triple, and a 1. So this one is either 1, 6, or 7, either way round. This one is either 1, 2, or 7. Ooh, it doesn't give much hope for 7 to stay in one of those cells. If 7 was in one of these cells, then this couldn't be an arrow. This would have to go 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Right, we'd have 3... Yes, what could go on this arrow? It, remember, it would be seeing 3, 4, 5, and 6. Well, it could only, therefore, be 7, 2. You'd have 8, 7, 2, 5, 4, 3, 9. Try putting 1 and 6 there in any way. It can't be a thermo, and it won't work in this box with 8 and 9 gone for an arrow. That's not possible. So, 7 is in one of those cells, and not in one of these cells. <sighs> that feels like the biggest step yet. And in terms of complexity, so sorry if that is annoying you, but you know somebody's going to call that a bifurcation. I don't really mind because I could see it in my head, so I don't count it as that. Um, right, seven and eight there. So seven and eight are in those three cells. This puzzle is fun. I mean, this is really clever. Even if I'm not solving it the way I meant to, it's a really clever puzzle. So one of these is a 7. OK, let's keep working on this yellow one, because I still don't know which way round it goes. It either goes 1 or 2, 2 or 3. Oh, no, there are... Yeah, so if we start with a 1, are there three possibilities? 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Actually, that could be a 3. I don't know that I have ruled that out, so... Apologies, it didn't affect the 7 logic, thank goodness. Oh, there's an 8 in one of those, just flicking my gaze over there. But that doesn't tell us whether we're dealing with a thermo or an arrow. What next? Every step of this is totally different from the last. It's a brilliant, genius puzzle. Um, right. No, that nine. These have to be from one, two, three, four, and five. So do these, actually. Might as well pencil mark that. Oh, OK, where does six go in this row? There's a nice question. It's got to be on this thermo. 
Um, it's got to be next to the 9 because 7 and 8 have gone. So 6 is there. This is 2, 3 or 4. It can't be 1 because of that group. That's 3, 4 or 5. This can't be 6 now. It is 7 or 8. If it was 7, this would be 1, 2, 4. Well, this this is quite a long one that we haven't analysed at all. For it to be an arrow, that's seven or eight, the other one that's not there. Then these are again one, two, three, or one, two, four, that's one or two. But the alternative is that it's a thermo ending in no more than seven. So that could be two, three, that's all, or seven or eight. Three, four, or a low number. Uh, the, you know, the trouble is they're not worth pencil marking because that for the thermo that can be three, four, that four, five, that five, six, but for the arrow they can be Anything from oh one two three or four actually okay maybe it's not so bad. Well, I end up with six pencil marks in that cell, which is not not wonderful. Oh, what about this nine? Have we learnt anything? Not really about its makeup. Um, ah. Okay, where does 7 go in box 2? Not in those cells. Not there, because that would need two ones to make up the 9. Clearly not there or there on the thermo. So it's got three places, so I'd like to rule it out of this one, and then I could place it in box 8. But that could be a 7 with a 1 there and a 1 there. Could it? Oh, that would keep a one out of the nine, the nine's arrow at the top. That's all right. I can't see why. That would be an immense problem. It could be two, three, four, or two, five, two, or something. Um, ooh, it would keep a one off this. It would stop this being an arrow, because that needs a 1 on there if it is an arrow. Um, it would make it a thermo, so 3, 4, 4, 5, or 5, 6, 8, 7, 9, 1. Uh, I don't see that that's absolutely impossible. Oh, I'll tell you what, 7 down here is in one of those two cells. They're all that's left. So if that was a 7, which I feel unlikely, we'd have a 7 down here. Ah, that would be a 7, because one of the ends of this is a 7. Didn't we prove that? No, we didn't. That was only if we had a 7 here. OK, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2 is still just possible. Is it though? Do we need two there? No. 134 plus 1 equals 9. Ah, oh, I'm stumbling around now. Sorry, I'd like to be doing something a bit cleaner for you. What have we got? What have we got going on? Maybe these little reclining thermos at the bottom. What's going on with them? Well, they may not be thermos, obviously. Um, Oh, I don't know. Sort of wondering about the question of where 7 is in column 9, but it could be there on the thermo, there on that thermo, and that's about all. Am I going to pencil mark everything in column 9? I don't want to. I'm not that bad. Or am I?
We'll see in a moment probably. Now, what about this? This is either 1, 2, 4, if that's a 7. Trouble is, these clues just don't have much read across to the rest of the puzzle when you can do them. Um, 7 in one of those cells. What's going on with that? Or oh, these five that I thought were so useful early on, or this? See, maybe I can falsify this being a seven with ones there. Oh, that makes this a six. At which point this has to be a thermo, obviously. And six now appears down here, making this a ther uh, thermo, yeah. And where would one go? Ah, they can't both be thermos because there'd be nowhere for one in the column. Okay, that'll do. So this is not a seven. Yeah, let me just run you through that. If this was a seven, it would need two ones either side of it for this nine total. That seven one pair would make this a six. That would insist that six went down in one of these two cells, making it a thermo along with this one, and there'd be nowhere for one in the final column. Okay, that'll do for me. That's not a seven. That's not a seven. They're not sevens. Seven is over this side somewhere. Love to know it was there, because that would tell us it was a thermo. But that means this is not a seven, and seven in this box is there. And what does that tell us? The square root of nothing. Oh, come on. Surely that's going to be helpful. Some way? Seven can't be up there. And it can't be in those two cells. That might be... Yeah, no, it can't. There's a seven there. Okay. So either that or that is a seven. And that, and that. Oh. Man, this is getting me down now. Right, come on, rededicate. Let's go again. Let's go again. Six is now in one of those two cells. So six is now along the bottom there and along the top of row of box seven. How can we use six? It can't be here because that would have to be a an arrow and those would be one, two, three, but that would clash with that. So this is not six in an arrow. Now, six can't be here at all because it can't be on an arrow when that can't be a nine. And if this was a thermo, we would run out of room before the end. So six is here, and this is a thermo, and that was a great conclusion that I wasn't expecting. And this can't be a thermo, or there'd be nowhere to put one in the column, so now we know that this yellow fella is an arrow. And that means this is not six or seven, it is one. How did I? Yes, because this is seven. Oh, yeah, this is great. This is a one, two, three set up here. Um, now, what have we got in the column? Four, five, and seven. That is four or five. Seven has to be up here next to the eight. That is also four or five. Gosh, is that going to free us up? This is one, two, three. No, not one. Two, three, or four. Ah, that's not one anymore. That takes five off the rest of this arrow. Um, ooh, this 9 doesn't have a 1 on it anywhere because of that 1, 2, 3 combination acting there and that 1 acting there. So, can this be as much as a 3? Yes, if that was 2, 4. Oh, it's got to be more than a 3. It's got to be at least a 4. I think we've done this arrow. That's a 4 and that's a 2, 3 pair. That's the only way it's going to work. Good grief. Okay, so 4 comes out of those. This is not a one anymore. 
This nine, in fact, these th five cells add up to 15 or 16, and therefore they involve one, two, three, four, and either five or six. They certainly don't involve a seven, and seven can't be there, so seven has got placed here. That may have been done some simpler way. Seven is now in one of those cells. Now, was that telling me any more? These, though, that can't be two or three. Oh, this can't be one or four. Can it be five? Yeah, it could if this was a one. Ah. But it could also be, oh, if it's two or three, this is definitely a four because that's a two, three pair. Otherwise, it's a five or six even. So this is either a four to go with the two, three possible pair, or it must be a one, I think, because it can't be two or three. Yeah. Um, oh, that doesn't fix this. Can this be a two, three, four set? Yes, if that's one and that's five or six. Can it involve a one? Yes. Oh, can it? Yes, it could, actually. Ah, okay, fair enough. Seven, nine, eight, two, three. Oh, okay, this is a thermo. So that's one, four, or five. That's four, five, or six. What is this? Seven, nine, eight, one, two, three. Not possible. This is four, five, or six, and that means this is a thermo. And quite a restricted one at that. If that's four, five, or six, this can't be six, or one, two, or... Th oh, where have I gone? This one can't be six, or one, two, three. I hope I didn't make some pencil mark somewhere. Yeah, this can't be four, actually. It's one degree of freedom along this one. Let me get this right as I go. Two or three there. Oh, one or two here, but it can't be a one. Why can't it be a one... There's some genuine reason that can't be a one that I've noted earlier. Is there or isn't there? Let's put the one in and see why I thought that couldn't be a one for some reason. Sorry if you remember me explaining this earlier. I'm not remembering now why I thought that couldn't be a one. Yeah, I'm not taking any chances. Um, how is there a reason that's not a one? Oh, well, anyway, never mind. It's clearly not the seven or eight that I've got corner marked. So they are in this pair here. Let's take that. Um, I don't know. I don't know what was going on with that possible one. I still don't know whether those are seven or eight, but I am still making some progress. Let's keep going. Let's keep going. Don't get hung up on that thermo. Right, now down here we've got another thermo that I haven't pencil marked yet. Two, three, or four there. One, two, or three there. Now we've got one, two, three, triple. So we can put in five and four. That five looks up at that is a four. So now we've got a three, two pair there. That is five or six. That makes this a one. That's now a two, three, four, triple. That's five or six. So's this. Um, that's not one, two, or three. How long has that been available? Ugh. Five there, six there. This has to be a six for the thermo. Um, seven, eight, nine, five, six. One, two, or three there. That's a triple, so this is a four. So we don't have a four here, so this isn't a seven. That's an eight. That's a seven. This is a one, two, five set. Oh, we're clocking on here. Now, come on. One, two, five. We get a three there. Three, eight, seven, one, two, five, four there. That's on the thermo. So this is three or two at the beginning of it. Has that said anything for this? This now has to have a four in it. And that's at least two. So this is a one, two, four set with a two here to make the nine. That becomes a three. This isn't three. 
That doesn't do anything to this. Oh, one of these is a six. Come on, come on, just find it. These aren't ones now. Oh, and that's not a four either. That's very helpful. Two there, five there. One, two, they're all done. That's now a one, that's a four. That's not, and that's not a four, which doesn't help on those thermos. This has become a three. This isn't three or four. Oh, and it's also not two, because that's sitting there. Five, six, this is a one in an unmarked cell. How unusual. That's, oh look, there's a five, six pair, so that's a four. One, five, and six here. This can't be a six. Ooh, don't quite know about that. Oh, look, that four there. Oh, that's fixed the rest of this thermo. Thank goodness I didn't rely on that non one pencil mark, which was wrong. Oh, hang on, that was meant to be a five. That was, a, <laughs> that was just a typo, thank God. Six there, five there. Oh dear, one here, so now this is an arrow. Because one couldn't be in the middle of a thermo. This is a six. Uh, what have I done there? I've colored it the same color. Right, this group is now a five, seven, eight set. And the one means that this plus one equals that. So it must be seven plus one equals eight. Um, in the two, three, four set, we can take out one of each. Three, four, we've got six, eight, and five to go in there. This is now a three naked single, four there. I'm going to find out what this, what this last marking is by default. It is a thermo. Um, actually, it's quite an amusing set of numbers because you could switch the seven and one around, as it happens, and make that into an arrow. Uh, that gives us three, four, oh, what's going on there? In the wrong mode again. That gives us three, four, two, six and five, three and two, and there we go. What a marvellous puzzle. No wonder everybody's recommending that. I'm up to 47 minutes. Let's hope the video doesn't go crazy suddenly today. Brilliant, brilliant puzzle. I hope you had a go at that because that is just fun all the way through. That's so tough. And as I say, so much coming up. Um, you've got the podcast to listen to. You've got um, the big puzzle hunt tomorrow. Brilliant. Uh, do join Patreon if you haven't already. It's going to be great. Anyway, thank you very much for watching and see you again tomorrow on Cracking the Cryptic. Bye for now. Mm -hmm.